Hey guys, do you have the same problem as me that you have Fortnite installed on an external hard drive and after plugging the hard drive out and back into the PC again, you are not able to run Fortnite because, well, the Epic Games Launcher doesn't recognize Fortnite as installed and will try to reinstall it if you click on Fortnite. Here, this is what happens to me. I have Fortnite installed and if I want, will click on it, it will just start to reinstall but I do not want to reinstall the 29 gigs so is there a way around so I'm going to show you a way around us how to run Fortnite if it's on an external hard drive and the Epic Games launcher will not recognize it so let's go okay so first of all you will need to close Epic Games launcher completely so you go here on the little icon thing and you right click on Epic Games launcher icon and click on um, yeah close after that is done, you go to the Windows Explorer and you go to your external your external hardware where you have Fortnite installed, and you go into the folder where you have Fortnite installed. For me, that would be my look my external drive F and the folder Games, and here the Fortnite folder. Inside the Fortnite folder, you'll go into the folder for called Fortnite Game, then into Binaries, Win64. And you scroll down and here you will have several .exe files. So the most common file people would click would be Fortnite Launcher.exe, but this will st just open Epic Games Launcher or will do nothing. So um, yeah, to run Fortnite, you just run Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping underscore EAC.exe. So the, the yeah, second last file. So this file is the file you need to run. And if you click it, you will see this little Fortnite window with easy anti-cheat appear and it will have a blue bar coming up. Um, yeah, it will stay on the blue bar, it will load a bit and you will think, oh my god, did something crash? Nope, just wait, just wait until Fortnite loads. Um, we will see you again in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are back again. It just took me about 10 seconds to for the window to close and it will reappear. This is not a bug, this is normal procedure but after that window reappears and still stays on the blue bar it should come up with fortnite and yet it can take depending on your pc a, a, a few seconds to load uh, alrighty you may have seen the little girl picture appearing and you'll now see the black screen because fortnite is actually starting there we go you see um, he's making the connection to Fortnite and I will be able to play Fortnite right now. If if the Epic Games Launcher opened directly instead of Fortnite, well, you haven't closed the Epic Games Launcher correctly, so be sure to close the Epic Games Launcher completely to have Fortnite load up instead of the Epic Games Launcher. Alrighty, and here we are. Just click on close. That's it, and now Fortnite is running, and you can just hit play and enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe if it helped you, and yeah, see you next time.